Hello friends, this video on determinant part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 14. To solve without expanding. Little tricky part. So, again, we have to prove that to be 0. To prove this to be 0, we have to prove that two rows or two columns are identical. But we don't see any rows or columns are identical. But the trick here is we can see that these guys are big guys, big in numbers. So if you can somehow break this in such a fashion that you get 2 and 7 in that. That is, I can write 65 as some k into 7 plus 2 kind of form. Correct. So in that case, what I can do is I can break this determinant into multiple determinant and then I can say that the columns are similar. See, if I can write 65 into k into some 7 form and 75 also into some k into 7 or k into 8, k into 8 plus 3 and 86 also I can write as some k into 9 plus 5 form. If I can write in this fashion, then my problem is solved. For this I have to think. See, or other way around also, or other way around in the sense, this fashion, k into 2 plus 7 or k into 3 plus 8 or k into 9 plus 5 and k into 5 plus 9. Any of this fashion is okay to me. Or in this fashion also, or in this fashion also, if I can write, I'll show you, 65 is equal to k1 into 2 plus k2 into 7 six, six, 75 this is the I mean the best uh, representation actually 75 as k1 into this guy is 3 now plus k2 into 8 and 86 also if I can write as k1 into 5 by 5 because this guy is 5 now plus k2 into 9 so if I can write in this fashion what will happen is I can break this into two matrices and then I'll say that the first matrix also is 0. Why? Because it's 2, 3, 5 is here and 2, 3, 5 is here. I'll say it's proportional. Two columns are proportions of 0. The second determinant which I'll get will also be 0. Why? Because you see this guy will be like this. 7, 8, 9 will be and this guy will be proportional. So I can say that they are 0. Correct. See the logic is if you can understand if I break this, so end of the day what I'll be getting is 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. And instead of 65, I write this guy and I break this, I'll get this as k1 into 2, k1 into 3, and this guy I'll get k1 into 5. The whole uh, determinant, sorry, this is straight only. This is straight, my mistake. This is not matrix, this is straight determinant. Plus, again, same thing. 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, k2 into 7, k2 into 8, and this guy is k2 into 9. See, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to give you the approach to follow. So, if, if I can break into this format, I can say that this guy and this guy are proportional. And here, this guy is 7, 8, 9, and k2, 7, 9 are proportional. So, they are 0. Correct. And thus, it will be 0. Such question you have to break these numbers. So the logic here is we have to find the value of k1 and k2. So let's try, let's let's have two equations because we have two equations and see what is the value of k1 and k2 we are getting and if that value satisfies the third equation. So it is 2k1 plus 7k2 is equal to 65. First equation. Second equation says that 3k1 plus 8k2 is equal to 75. So let's solve this equation. To solve this equation, what I can do is, let me multiply this guy by 2, multiply this guy by 3. So what I get here is, this guy is 6k1 plus 21k2 is equal to 195. This guy is 6k1 plus 16k2 is equal to 150. 
subtract this what I get is 21 minus 16 is 5 k2 is equal to 195 minus 50 is 45 or I get k2 is equal to 9 once I got k2 let me find k1 so I can find any of the equations I got k2 so I got 65 is equal to 2k1 plus 7 into k2 k2 is 9 correct or I get k2 as nothing but 65 minus 9 into 7 63 by 2 that is 2 by 2 that is 1 so I got k2 as 9 and k1 as 1 this is not the solution we have to first check whether that particular k1 and k2 satisfies this condition also if this satisfies then only we can break this into k1 k2 form so let's do that let's see k1 is uh, we have to find the value of 5 k1 plus 9 k2 correct 5 k1 plus 9 k2 and make sure it is 86 so let's find the value 5 k1 5 into 1 plus 9 into k2 k2 is how much k2 is we got 9 so that is 9 81 plus 5 86 and we expected 86 correct thus we got the value of k1 k2 so now what we can do is we can break this guy into this form 7 8 9 65 is nothing but 2 k1 that is 2 into 1 plus plus 7 into k2 that is 7 into k2 is how much 9 this guy 75 is 3 k1 3 into 1 plus 8 k2 8 into 9 this guy I can write as 86 as 5 k1 5 into 1 plus k2 into 9 that is uh, k2 is how much 9 so 9 into 9 so this now I can break as this form 2 3 5 7 8 9 this guy becomes 2 3 5 because I am breaking this guy I am taking these guys now first plus now I take these guys so this becomes 2 3 5 7 8 9 and this becomes 7 into 9 and this guy becomes 8 into 9 and this guy becomes 9 into 9 now if you see these two columns are same so this is 0 here also if you see these column and these column are sorry not this this column and this column are proportional because they are 7 7 to 9 8 8 into 9 9 9 to 9 so this guy is also 0 so this is 0 plus so I got 0 3 so now here also if you see what we have done we have solved this equation without even expanding this just by using power of properties so in such questions the in such questions the catch is that you have to find these values k1 k2 such that you can break this bigger numbers and then we will break this bigger determinant into smaller determinant and then you can use the property to prove that they are zero let's take one more example here also we have to prove that it is zero so what is the approach we can follow what can we do we don't know we are helpless the first thing we can expand this so let's expand this if we can get some clue so a into b plus c is a b plus a c 1 c a this becomes b c plus b a 1 a b c a plus c b see just don't focus on solving the question understand the approach why we are solving in that fashion now we have to make it zero to make it zero one thing we know that we have to show that two columns are two rows of proportion if you see this row is all one this row is all different this row is also all different how can we make it proportional now if you observe if you add these two rows uh, columns columns 2 and column 3 ab plus bc plus ca this becomes ab plus bc plus ca this also becomes ab plus bc plus ca all will become same right here also all are same 
then we can say that two columns are proportional and then that means it is zero so now the next step is we have to apply c3 is equal to c2 c3 plus c2 you have to add these two columns that's all because we want to show show that two columns are proportional we saw this is 1 1 1 if we can prove that all the numbers in a particular columns are also equal that means they are proportional then that's zero so let's do that let's uh, add these two columns to make it proportional so this becomes 1 1 1 no change c2 is also no change b c c a b this guy is change this becomes c3 is equal to c3 plus c2 that means you add these two guys so this becomes a b plus uh, b c plus c a this also becomes a b plus b c plus c a this also becomes a b plus b c plus c a a b plus b c plus c a correct now if you can see that these two columns are proportional because or i can take a b plus b c plus c a common to make life simple to show you in a better way so this becomes 1 1 1 this becomes b c c a and a b and this becomes 1 1 1 now if you see these two columns are identical since they are identical this becomes 0 since this becomes 0 this becomes a b plus b c plus c a into into 0 and that is big 0 and that is my answer so what we have done we just try to manipulate the column to make sure that two columns are identical and that's why I have done or identical or proportional so we just added column 3 is equal to column 3 plus column 2 and I found that column 3 and column 1 became proportional and then the whole determinant became zero we'll take again thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again